Finally, ESO, aka Skyrim Online, I cannot wait to be the bestiest player in less than 24 hours. Well, small nerdling, that's impossible. Well then, I'll just start by hitting level 50 in an hour. Carry me, peasant. No, that that's not how this game works. Are you questioning my superiority? I'll have you know that I have 400 mods on Skyrim and I'm level 8 million. But you're only level 1 in ESO. Bow before me. Worship your... <sighs> you're a level 1. Nobody will know you're missing. Welcome, fellow ESO knights, or something like that, to a video that will teach your level one sorry carcass how to achieve that superior champion level status. Of course, this will come with many hours of hard, tiresome work. You'll probably have to quit your job in the process, but in the end, it'll be worth it. Lesson one, campaign quests. Hey, you know that guy that keeps interrupting your evening walks? Greeting Vestige. No, he's actually not a beggar, he's the main quest starter. Completing the main campaign quest line not only levels you a ton more than regular quests, it also gives you skill points for every single campaign quest completed. Lesson 2. Acquire the legendary item, Friendship. Are you a person who thinks this when they hear ESO? Alright, after many hours of complicated math formulas, I have discovered that the O in ESO stands for Elder Scrolls Alone. Yeah, it actually stands for online. Stop your whining and start chatting, because playing this game in a group of two actually gives you an experience bonus. As long as you see this, you'll be gaining experience much faster when it comes to completing quests. Lesson 3, one region at a time. I understand the excitement to explore every single region within 20 seconds of entering the game, and not to say that you can't, but rather focusing on one at a time can be a smart move. This allows you to binge an area and get everything it has to offer you, including the bonus XP for completing region story quests, which aren't connected to the campaign in any way, but larger story quest lines specific for each region that give a larger amount of XP when totally completed. Lesson 4, Mowage. Mowage is what brings us together. Today. Yeah, alright, just shut up and let us get our XP bonus, old man. Marrying someone in ESO is a tad bit complicated, as it requires getting a Ring of Mara for your in-game spouse to be online and in your group, and to take up a ring slot for the Ring of Mara, which doesn't offer any benefits besides the XP bonus. Other than that, the ring offers a means for newer players to gain that bonus amount of XP together, on top of the two-person group XP bonus. Lesson 5, Daily Solo Quests. Here's another beautiful source of daily experience. Although some daily quest lines are incredibly difficult to complete, WHY THE HECK AM I SOLOING A WORLD BOSS AT LEVEL 5?! There's quite a number of dailies that are easily completable as a solo player, and the three I'm going to recommend are the Fighter's Guild, Mage's Guild, and Undaunted. Even though the Undaunted only unlocks at level 45, completing these three quests every day not only levels you up in each of the specific skill lines, it gives you great loot and a heap of experience. Of course, you're going to need to join each guild and complete the quest lines before the dailies are open to you, but the locations of the daily quests are... Boom! You've got the Wayrest, the Elden Root, and the Mournhold. You gotta go talk to Cardia for the Fighter's Guild, Alvar for the Mage's Guild, and this nerd orc for the Undaunted. Lesson 6, ESO Plus. The rich will rejoice in hearing that ESO Plus gives a 10% XP bonus, helping you power level a lot quicker, and yeah, that's about it. Lesson 7, do not waste experience scrolls or potions. Okay, this is gonna stir up a little bit of controversy, I just know it, but I'm gonna express my personal opinion here, and that is not to waste your XP scrolls or potions on non-grinding situations. Trust me, you do not complete quests fast enough for the scrolls to actually be worth using. Getting the permanent bonuses such as a two-man group, Ring of Mara, ESO+, Plus, that kind of stuff is worth having because it never runs out. Lesson 8, exploration. Alright, I know what you're thinking. Exploring? In an Elder Scrolls title? Are you kidding me? That's impossible. I know, it's hard to believe myself. In ESO, exploring and discovering areas is the key to getting bonus experience. Although it's not a massive amount of experience, it's literally free XP. You just walk up and say, Hi, Mr. Brown. Get off my lawn, you trespasser. And boom, you've been given immediate XP. And for those of you add-on savvy nerds, grab the add-on Undiscovered, just to know where everything is in every area. Lesson 9, become a bookworm nerd. This isn't really how to power level 1 to 50, rather shoving your face into every single book you see can possibly level you in any kind of skill, whether that be armor, weapons, crafting, you name it. Fregland didn't read any books, and look where he is now, forced into having other people read to him every day, and he doesn't even get to choose the book. Alright Fregland, let's start a new book today. Oh, 
This is a good one. It's called Twilight, and it's even in a series of books. Lesson 10, actually killing stuff. All right, although enemies don't offer a ton of XP for killing them, while well, running through the game's quest lines definitely give them what they're asking for, a good old slaughter. Killing your enemies throughout your quest will give you a decent amount of experience and always help you level up your skill lines in the process. Don't just stealth your way through missions, allow your foes to join the Choir Invisible. And for some reason we've got a lesson 11, Training Gear. Yes, Training Gear is an actual thing. For advanced players, it is the go-to for grinding, but that doesn't mean that low levels can't use it as well. In fact, Training Gear for lower levels is recommended. It helps you level up much quicker and it also helps you power level through your different skills. The problem here is that training armor is either crafted or randomly picked up, which means that you're gonna either have to hire a crafter who can make you some, or just pick up random armor and pieces with training on it. And there you have it, my top tips to help you level up faster in the Elder Scrolls Online. But wait, there is one way to gain you 1 million XP by doing one legendary quest, to level you up to the max in absolutely everything, and that legendary quest is...